what a what a pleasure to finally be able to have this uh, this conversation uh, with you, even if it's at this socially distance, um, appropriately safe format. Thank you so much for the invitation, President Cabrera. It's a delight to be here this afternoon. So let me let me ask you first. Okay, this is a, this is the question on campus. Is it Dean feeling <laughs> Dean? <laughs> husband's feeling what is the right way dean k dean k there you go i like that i like that a lot easier it's a lot easier i want to ask you a question that i get asked a lot which is liberal arts at georgia tech i thought you guys were an engineering school why why do you teach liberal arts so essential to have liberal arts at an engineering school to have that intersection of humanities social sciences and technology uh, the technologists are also working on human problems. And so what better place to do it than here at Georgia Tech, where our social scientists and our humanities faculty and students are very much integrated into the process of the sciences. We have arts, we have poetry, we have expression, we have things that, we, science fiction. I mean, what better place to do work on science fiction than a technological institute but everything we talk about, we think about competition, the competitive edge, um, return on investment, um, ingenuity, entrepreneurship. One of the things that we're doing in Ivan Allen to try to determine where we go from here, the strategic planning process by looking at the purpose and potential of a liberal arts institution at a technologically focused university or institute. What do you think is the purpose and potential of the liberal arts at a technologically focused institution in the 21st century. And we need critical thinkers and, and scholars and researchers who are looking at our society through different lenses, through the, the lens of, of history, uh, of sociology, of, of, of economics, of the arts. Um, so, so in a way, I think when, when you look at that mission statement, like immediately you realize that a great institute of technology like Georgia Tech absolutely needs a great liberal arts college like Avenue. Well, wow, it's essential. I, I so. love it, and but it's also essential, as you say. Now, tell me a little bit about about you. You're you're an economist. You got your your PhD. You worked with the NSF, sort of structuring science policy. Yeah, right? What made you want to go back to a university, right? And in particular, why a place like Georgia Tech to do your students work? First, students first. As your principal, as you've said so many times, students are a top priority. It's exciting to work with students and watch them develop into the future leaders, solving the types of problems that we work on here. I know you have studied the issue of um, underrepresented groups in science and technology fields. You've written about it. You have advised federal policy on, on those issues. Where does that interest come from? I came to the U.S. when I was almost eight years old from a tiny little island sitting in the Atlantic Ocean in Bar from Barbados. I remember my grandmother, one of her principles was no one should go hungry. And that doesn't mean that you stand and you don't have to work. It means if you're working really hard and you still can't make ends meet, Somebody comes alongside and they help you and they give you what you need for sustenance. I use those principles in my everyday life, even now as the Dean of Ivan Allen College, where it's so important for not only to see our students who have amazing talent, but may not have the financial wherewithal, make it, come here, succeed, go to the next place and become leaders. We're, we're still dealing with a global pandemic um, really a, a, a public health crisis at a time where people question science. How we, do we deal with that puzzle? And, and maybe even what, what can a place like the Ivan Allen College um, help do? How do we convince people that, you know, this is actually something that will work and is for the better good, for the human good? And that's the, what many of the areas within Ivan Allen College is able to impart to our, to our students. The reason that there's this distance between the science and people is that we need to build that bridge. We need to build those types of connections. I feel like 
we were tested. And yet, little by little, our, our community came together. People started focusing on what they could do. I think when we look back at 2020, probably the happy is behind us. But uh, I'm sure we're also going to recognize that we learned a lot. I'm, I'm hoping that we don't forget many of the lessons that we've learned this year. Well, thank you so much for spending uh, this time with me in this absolutely uh, gorgeous place in this incredible, uh, incredible day. I really, I'm very, very excited about the college and about your leadership and looking forward to uh, working with you, Kay. Thank you, and I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad that you said, Kay, Ivan Allen has a lot of assets. You need to determine how you're gonna work with that. And so thank you for that. Thank you so much.